coming up on China Chats. If you were the mayor of Guangzhou, what would you change? Uh, have less factories. Yep. There'll be a rule: no spitting. You can't no spit. <laughs> uh, do you worry about growing up? I don't want to grow up. You I don't want to grow up. I want yeah. to stay a child. I wouldn't like to take care of a child because. <laughs> Um, I'm the child, and yeah. sometimes I'm naughty. So you're not in a rush to grow up. I don't no, know. Really. I, wanna, you wanna, I, wanna I like this age. age. You want to be Peter yeah. Pan? Yeah, yeah, Peter Pan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Welcome to China Chats, a FaceTime production for Guangdong Radio and Television. And for today's show, we've come to the British School of Guangzhou here in Bayan District, a lovely campus surrounded by a beautiful lake and a hill. And we've got our youngest ever panel of guests because I'm joined by three ten-year-olds from around the world. So welcome, Sabrina Chu from Hong Kong. Um, I'm ten year this year, and this is my seventh year in Guangzhou. Your seventh year in Guangzhou.、Mm -hmm. Okay. And Sheena Ling from Malaysia. Hi, I'm Sheena Ling. I'm ten years old, and. I come from Malaysia. I've been in Guangzhou for three years. And our final guest is、uh, the gentleman of the show. I'm Harry Carlin, and I'm also ten years old. I come from Britain, and this is my fourth year in China. Okay, well, it's great to meet you all, and thank you very much for coming on the show. So, we're going to cover a few topics today. I thought I thought we'd start off talking about life here at the、uh, British School of Guangzhou. How do you like it? Well, this is my first year here, but I like it a lot. Like there, I have lots of friends and everything. What's the best things about studying here? Well, Don't remember your teachers might be watching. Okay. <laughs> okay.、Uh, well, there are a lot of different classes. Yeah. I like the environment around here. Lots of plants and、uh, more different from the actual city where I live in Guangzhou. I like how there are different topics for us to learn, so we don't get bored of one. So. That means I've got to ask you which is your favorite topic. I like PE. Okay.、Yeah. It's really fun and entertaining. Harry, my best thing is meeting new friends from all over the world. And as Sabrina said, there's lots of plants and grass and everything. But I used to live in Saudi Arabia where there weren't as many plants. You're、yeah. here in China. I guess one of your courses must be studying Chinese. Study yeah. Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. But that yeah. was one of the biggest worries for me because I look at this and it's got all these like tones and everything. I'm like, how am I going to learn this? Is it easy? No, no. no. They're probably you, both better than me. But Chinese. Do, but do you think it's important to learn the language? Yeah, because、Ch um, Chinese is now like the biggest language in the world. So it'd be nice for us to learn it to be able to communicate with people from all over the world. I don't speak a, a lot of Chinese, but I can say Liangga Pijiu. <laughs> that means that means two beers. It does mean two Again, beers. I can, I can that, say beer in any language. That, that's just a favorite sentence. Language,、yeah. I like studying Guangzhou because I get to learn a language that I've never learned before, and I think it's really fun. I like the fact that I'm English and I'm in China, so I have to learn Chinese, and I can learn all the culture and stuff about China. Um, what I like is that I got to meet new friends. It's been a great experience. Meeting new people, talking a different language, and learning about their nationality, their country. I learned how the Singaporeans celebrate their festivals and all the Chinese festivals too, from my friends. Now, this might surprise you. Okay, but it's quite a long time since I was at school. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, how about the homework nowadays? Do you、uh, get a lot of homework? Sometimes、yes. it's a lot. Sometimes a lot, but it's、yeah. it's not as hard now because the tests are over. Like we've done all、yeah. the sats. Because I've I've got a lot of nieces and nephews. It seems that all the time you're doing sats, test for this, test for that. Do you feel pressure? A bit, but most of the times it's all right. And I'm a slow worker, so I'm used to having to like work really. Quickly, Sheena, do you feel the pressure? Yeah, because I want to get good grades. Yeah. So I try to practice most of the time. Harry, do you think is that the most important thing about school, getting good grades? And also about meeting new people. If you are very shy and you haven't built your confidence in schools, that means you might be a shy person for the rest of your life. 
So it's not just about grades because you can up your grades by trying. Like I think I'm going to give you an A grade for not being shy, Harry, because you know, <laughs> he's not a shy guy. Yeah. In fact, the three of you for coming on the show, it's fantastic show. Isn't it? So you think it's important to, to, to develop your confidence? Yeah, because because social, you skills? Confidence. social skills. Social, social skills. skills. Yeah. Because you need social skills to do this, basically. Yeah. Now, I know that this school has, uh, it's got five core values. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, this is not a test and you're not going to be <laughs> graded, but I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, okay? Oh, yes. Tell me the core values. Integrity. Integrity. Responsibility. Respect. Love of learning. And... I've forgotten it. <laughs> I've forgotten it too. Sort of... Wait. Oh, I know, I know. Go on. Yeah. Commitment. Yeah. Commitment. Good. Okay. So five core values. I'm going to ask each of you separately, which one of those five, and I, well, they're all important, that's why they're core values. Yeah. Okay, yeah. which one do you think is the most important? We'll start with Sheena this time. Commitment. Commitment, why? Because it means doing your best and producing a um, work that shows your ability. Okay. I would have said commitment, but also responsibility, because if you don't have responsibility, you won't be trusted with stuff. Okay, very good. Well, I think love of learning because, like, especially since we're young, we, we should learn more and be more enthusiastic to have new facts and stuff like that so that we can, we can use these facts in the future. Great. So have you got a long-term goal? I know you're 10 yeah. years old now. But where, <laughs> Harry, what's your long-term goal? Did in, we write it? In terms of learning. Uh, Do you want to go to university? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, well, I don't want to be on the streets. I want to okay. get. <laughs> and you think getting to university can help you stay yeah. on the streets? Okay. And up in my uh, maths, because I really want to get a level six, and I was able to set the level six paper, but I didn't get a level six. Then. Okay. Sheena, what about you for university? Well, I like to go because my mom said um, you get to do everything by yourself, and it's like your job to do everything and you have to be independent and that sounds fun. Okay. But Go on, Harry. I would all, I really, the job I really want to do... This is, is what I was going to come yeah, to next. Go my on, job then. is probably I want to be a football player or a professional athlete because I love playing football and I love sports. Sheena, have you got a career in mind, a dream job? Not really. I'll just do whatever I am best at. Yeah? And Sabrina, have you got a dream job? Mm, I'm not sure. I did think about writing. Right. My I, like girl. I like this, yeah. You should oh. become a journalist. <laughs> yeah, that's... Do, do you follow news a lot? Are you interested in news? Are you interested about what's going on around you in Guangzhou, in China, in the world? Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't really read or watch news, but I read that football news. Huh? Yeah, sport news. That's how I said Listen, when I was eight years old, I knew I wanted to be a football player. Yeah. So that, because I wasn't going to be good enough to be a player. <laughs> This Christmas and every single Christmas, VSG always takes them to boxes and makes presents for people and like kids in an orphanage in need. This year we're making it for an orphanage in Shenzhen and we're going to deliver them. This is a box for girls. Inside, um, there's everything an orphan needs to um, keep warm in the winter and like their toothbrushes so they can brush their teeth and um, these orphans don't have enough money to buy these so we have to give them it and it's a nice Christmas present so there are socks to keep your feet warm, there are pencils um, to write in your notebooks and there are rubbers and there are a few more socks and there's more toothpaste down there. This box is for a girl too, and it's it has all the needs like for a Christmas present. It has hats to keep them warm. It has the stuffed toys, and it's basically a really nice present because it has all the needs for them. And I know you may be thinking that it's not really like a cool present for us because our parents are able to afford it, but for other poor kids, this is enough for their Christmas. So, uh, do you worry about growing up? Oh yeah, I don't want to grow up. You I don't want to grow up? I want to yeah. stay a child. Yeah. Me too. I'm still a child. 
<laughs> because as you well, get an adult, there's more rules and everything, yeah. and you can't like play around or mess around. You have more responsibility yeah. when you grow yeah, up. Yeah, you exactly. can't yeah. mess around. Yeah. So you're not in a rush to grow up. I don't no. know. Really. I, want to, I, want to I like this age. age. You want to be Peter yeah. Pan. Yeah, yeah, yeah Peter Pan. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So what is it apart from the responsibility? Are, are there things around the world that worry you about growing up? You know, is there anything that troubles you? Well, I wouldn't like to take care of a child because. <laughs> Um, I'm the child, and yeah. sometimes I'm naughty, yeah. so I wouldn't like to deal with that. So at the moment, you don't want to be a mum? No. Okay. That's perfectly fine. It might change. Okay, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, if I had a superpower, then, I, then it would probably be maybe invisibility, because um, I could go into shops and steal stuff without anyone noticing. And um, I could play pranks on my siblings, and it would just be so much fun. Teleportation, because I can steal some game stuff. Xbox, PS4, and I can go. And I don't. I can't. I can wake up at 8:30, and I can just go teleportation and come to school like one second, and I can sleep until 8:30. I would choose telepathy. That's like reading people's minds and controlling their minds. So I can like make my teacher like say free ice cream for everybody, no tests. <laughs> Being able to fly, I can travel much faster and look at the view up there. I w would want to fly because I'm I, I don't have a lot of stamina. I'm very slow and <laughs> I'm not very good at sports and. Yeah, and I would also like to see the view of how it is up in the sky. Look, I'm hunting for birds. So I'm going to be faster than you. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I've been asking most of the questions. Do, would any of you like to ask me a question about growing up? Yeah. Oh, go on, Harry. <laughs> that you, was great. Go when on. You know that you're a, like, a teacher. Yeah. Did you always want to be a teacher? When you were a child, know, or did you, or did you just want to be a football journalist? Did you think that teaching was bad? My dad was nice. a teacher, and I uh -huh. never, I saw how hard he worked, and I never wanted to be a teacher. And in fact, don't tell my students, but I say I'm not a teacher now. Okay, I'm a journalist, so I teach journalism, but I, I, I've never trained as a teacher, but I teach how to do journalism. So I see myself more as a journalist who is training. But it was my dream job, um, and I think you know to kind of answer your question yeah. about about teaching if you've got an, a goal if you've got a dream you know it's, it's great to have a dream that you can then chase and when and when you reach it i know when i went to my first football match as a football reporter one of the happiest days of my life because i'd achieved my dream so you worked hard to get that i worked really hard to get that so that's another good lesson for you you know <laughs> when you're growing up the harder you work the better you're gonna be can i ask another question unless one of the sabrina yeah. have you got a question yes. Well, what is it like to like go out into the world and by yourself, like be independent? These are good questions. Do you want to swap seats? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, uh, um, it's, it's a very interesting thing because, uh, like you, I'm not from China. I don't know if you know this. I'm yeah. from the UK. Okay. Yeah, I think I mean I think you'd work that out. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I, th I think one of the things I'd say about growing up is, is you know, about making, taking big decisions and taking brave decisions. I had a very good job as a football journalist in the UK and because of my wife coming here, I decided, you know, I'm going to take a chance. So, yeah, I, it, it's, it's going out into the world. I think you've got a great start because you're in an international school and you're in an international environment. Yeah. So, mm. Sheena, have you got a question? Is it much busier as an adult? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, listen, when I was your age, I think I was probably a little bit like Harry. I was, I was football, then football, and then I'd play a bit of football, okay? Yeah. And then I'd do some studying, of course. Of course. I'd, I'd take the study in. But it is much busier um, because, you know, you, you've got jobs to do. P people will only pay you money if you do the job that you're supposed to do. So, yeah, I think it is busy. I will tell you this for sure, and I've got... 11 nieces and nephews, okay? The school days are the best days. You, will, you just have great yeah. time. And I can tell you three really love it. Okay, well, we're gonna look now at some global issues, okay? If you were the mayor of Guangzhou, what would you change? 
I would um, make uh, have less factories. Yep. Because it, the the pollution in China yep. is really bad. Yeah. Uh, Harry, what would you do as the mayor of Guangzhou? Um, there'll be a rule, no spitting. You can't no. spit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, is that something yeah. you noticed here? Yeah, and also you have a limit of cars because lots yeah. of families have now like, one or two cars yeah. and it makes traffic a lot busier, so it's hard to get around. So far, I'm voting for both of you for mayor of Guangzhou because I like both of those ideas. Yeah. Thank you. Trina? Mm, for the traffic, I agree with that. and. While they're driving, there's air pollution yeah. and it's burning a lot of fuel. Some people used unrenewable fuel, so that's not very good. Okay. Pollution. The Gongzhou's air is too bad. If I was the mayor of China, then again I'd probably change pollution um, by Maybe banning people from littering on the floor and throwing stuff in the river. <laughs> Make a lot of mountains and trees and stuff. I'll get rid of all the factories because too much pollution. I'll ban spitting. Also ban the spitting and um, making the schools like know each other more because like we're really separated. Like the English schools from the Chinese schools, they don't know nothing about each other because they're separated. Well, I would ban um, the um, the amount of dog poop that goes on the floor, <laughs> um, and maybe it's the the amount of spitting that goes down, and maybe they, it should stop. And maybe people who stare at certain people, maybe they should stop staring and be polite and not take their pictures out of without their permission. That's what I think should happen. Good. I, I like all those answers. We'll bring it a, a little closer now. What do you think you will miss when you leave? Oh, I'm actually leaving at the end of the at the end of the whole school year. Really? Whole so you're leaving year. next summer? Yeah. What What um, do you think you're going to miss? Um, friends. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I really want to go to the UK though. Okay. Because I've only been there for three years and about two months, and I want to study there because yeah. my older brother's there sure. and he does a lot of football and everything and sports and I, it sounds really good so I really want to go board and board there. I would miss my friends and my school life, how I settled down. I'm going to have to change and meet new friends which is pretty um, good as well. Yeah. And the classes. The classes? Yeah. like. Like the Topic teachers. science, yeah. yeah, and the teachers. The teachers are very nice. They're very nice? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen, having met you three, I'd say the kids are pretty nice, okay? <laughs> so, and I think if any of you are interested, you know, if you don't mind seeing these cameras around, and if you don't mind the bright lights, maybe you'll end up sitting where I'm sitting one <laughs> day, okay? Mm. Thank you very much for being our guest on China Chats. And Harry, we're going to play a bit of football soon. Yeah. Looking forward to it? Yes. I can show you how a real player plays. Uh, or I can show you that. Okay. <laughs> I think Harry's gonna win. Like, he practices so much. Oh, oh you're just going easy. No, I was trying to trick you. Oh, that's a beauty. I think, I think he let that in. Yeah, I think he let that in. Oh. Like football? Mm, well, I don't exactly hate it. Me too. I love I, football. I, I love. I, I can't sit life. there for yeah, like one hour every day. I, I can't sit there for one hour staring at the TV with people running around. It's not one hour. It's one, one hour. hour half, and half, and yeah. It's one hour and, one hour and, hour and forty-five minutes because of the fifteen minute, minute half time. Yeah. yeah. But it's hard to watch in China because it's always at one p.m. or at midnight. Oh, I'm really tired right now. Already? You're yeah. tired. You're ten years old. I hope, I hope when I get, how when can I get, you be tired? When I get to my house, I'm probably going to...